Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. A quick initialization is just that it quickly wipes all of the data, but not very securely. So someone with specialized software could recover any of that data. A full initialization wipes all of the data securely and prevents anyone else from recovering the data. This process can take several hours, though. Let's help you make your mark. Before everything was connected to the internet, all you had to do was to unplug the console and pack it in a box. However, if you're selling a PS4, you'll have to perform a factory reset and wipe all your user data and accounts from the console. Take our lead. Sign in to your PS4 and head to the settings menu you'll want to deactivate the machine as your primary PlayStation 4. That setting allows you to play downloaded games offline by identifying this particular PS4 as yours. Take our lead. There are many reasons that your PS the 4th of May not be functioning properly. For example, a faulty power source, like a weak socket or plug connection, can make it difficult or even impossible to turn the device on. Another minor issue could be accumulated dust clogging up the device. Take our lead. Choose the reset option you need as in the settings menu, in safe mode. You can choose Restore Default Settings to reset everything in the PS4 to its original software settings but keep your data. You can also choose Initialize PS4. Take our lead. How to factory reset your PS4. Sign in to your PS4 and go to Settings. In the settings menu, you'll be presented with a number of options. Deactivate your PS4. Back up your saved data. Sign back in with your user account. Find the initialization option. Choose full on the initialize screen. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.